All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Rakakadash. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And uh, peace and blessings to the elect, sincere brothers of Israel out there that's pushing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Uh, this lesson is going to be about, um, you know, casting your burdens to the Most High and, you know, putting off those doubt demons and, you know, just doing the work. All right, um, you know, especially for younger brothers that are coming into this truth, you know, uh, you know, from from my personal experience and from testimonies that I've heard from other brothers, you know, when you first start coming out, you know, those demons start fucking with you, uh, you know, telling you that, uh, you know, you're not good enough, you shouldn't be out teaching the word, so on and so forth, and, uh, you know, there's accounts where, um, um, prophets and men of the Lord have the same uh, problem, you know. Um, this is Jeremiah chapter 1, uh, verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou comest, that before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So this right here is, you know, the, mo the, the Lord telling him, like, you know, before you were even born, you know, I I called you holy, and I ordered you to be a prophet unto the nations, right? Verse 6, Then said I, Ah, uh, Yahweh power, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. You know, so he, he was like, But I'm too young to be doing this. You know, uh, verse 7 says, But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver to to deliver thee, saith Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. You know, so he's like, you're not too young, man. Like I know you better than you know yourself. You know, the the Most High has his favorites, and if you know this this word resonates with you, and uh, you know the fear of the Lord is on you to to go out and teach, man. Then just do it. All right. Another example is uh, Moses. This is uh, Exodus, Exodus uh, chapter 4, uh, verse 10. It says, uh, And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent. All right, that word eloquent means uh, fluent or persuasive in speaking or writing. You know, so he may have had like a speech impediment or, you know, whatever. He couldn't pronounce words uh, very well. Uh, Neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue, you know, so he probably like stuttered or, um, you know, just had a weird accent, you know, who knows. Um, but verse 11 says, And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth, or who maketh a, the dumb or deaf or the seeing or the blind? Have not I the Lord, Yahweh? Now therefore go and I will be with thee. Uh, thy mouth, and teach thee uh, what thou shalt say, you know, so he, he's like, he's like, I know you have a speech impediment, I'm the one that made you, you know, but um, he still required Moses to go and, and, and be the one that spake unto Pharaoh, all right, um, <clears throat> this is uh, Luke 14, uh, I'll start at uh, I'll start at 16. It says, Then said he unto him, A certain man, man made a great supper, and bade many, uh, and sent this servant at supper time, to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. Uh, and another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, uh, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and, and the halt and the blind. Let's see, let's, let's keep reading on that. 
Um, it says, uh, and the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, yet there is room. The Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in, that my, that my house may be filled. All right. Uh, for I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. You know, so this is just a parable that Yahushai used, saying, you know, there's going to be uh, people that will always have an excuse. All right. There's always going to be an excuse to not do the work. All right. But the reasons why you should do the work always will outweigh the reasons why you shouldn't. All right. And if you, you know, fall on those excuses of not putting the uh, Lord's work first, man, then, you know, somebody is going to take your spot. All right. You know, the, it's an easy thing for the Lord to, you know, if, if you don't want to do it, then he's just, you know, going to cast you away. Man. But if you're ordained to do it, you got to have faith in the in the Lord that he's going to be with you. All right. Um, this is uh, Psalms 55 and 22. Cast your burdens on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. You know? <clears throat> so, I mean, the, the, the Lord is, you know, you got to have that faith that the Lord is dealing with you. I mean, you know, you, you <laughs> there's so many people that walk by camp, you know, watch these videos, and they still don't get it, you know? And, and you know, if your eyes are open to this truth, then, man, you're truly blessed. Especially if you, you, you're you navigating through precepts and you can go precept upon precept, line upon line, and you're able to teach this. Man, why, why shouldn't you be out there on the highways and byways? All right. Um, Isaiah 41 and 13. Let's see. Let's get this whole chapter. Uh, let's start at... I'll start at 9. Isaiah 41 and 9. You whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest regions and said to you, You are my servant. I have chosen you and have not cast you away. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your power. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all those who were uh, incensed, incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced yeah that word incensed is very angry uh enraged you know because when you do this work man you start being persecuted for righteousness sake you know people are angry with you mad at you wish that you would stop but you know you keep going because <laughs> it says all those that were angry with you incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced you know you know, the Most High is going to put their nose in the dirt, all right? They shall be as nothing, and those who strive with you shall perish. <laughs> you shall seek them and not find them. Those who contend with you, those who war against you, shall be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. You know, and that's a warning to you scoffers, man. People like Vocab Malone and all of his little other minions. You know, and, you know, whatever lowly uh, scoffer that comes up against us, man. Y'all y'all want to keep playing playing these games, man. The Most High isn't about that, you know. It says, uh, For I, the Lord, your power will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. It says, Fear not, <clears throat> uh, you worm, Jacob. Ye, you men of Israel, I will help you, says the Lord, and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make you into a new threshing sledge with sharp teeth. You shall thresh the mountains and beat them small. And mountains represent like uh, government structures, you know, like a, like authority uh, uh, structures, I guess. And beat them small and make the hills like shaft. You shall winnow them, the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. You shall rejoice in the Lord, and glory in the Holy One of Israel. You know? <clears throat> so there's nothing that, that's going to stop this word, man. Uh, yeah, let's see. 
can either gain. Luke 21 and 15. Alright, it says, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, but your adversary shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. You know, nobody can argue with the Bible, man. They can try to disprove it and this, that, and the third, but at the end of the day, there's scriptures in, in the Bible that are talking about prophetic events that have either already happened or that are going to happen. All right, and there's wisdom and guidance, laws, statutes, and commandments. Or if you follow those, you know you're gonna live a healthy lifestyle. All right, so people can't gainsay or resist that, man. Especially if you know if the Lord is dealing with you, man. If He's put that spirit on you to, you know, preach these things, nobody can argue with it. Um, Matthew six and twenty five. Therefore, I say to you. Do not worry about your life. You know, what, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body. Uh, what you will put on, on <clears throat> is not life more than food and the body more than clothing. And, you know, you might worry about that when you're on the highways and byways. You know, like the Elder Malcolm in uh, uh, the Chicago camp always says, you know, he gives uh, at the beginning of all of his videos, he says, peace and blessings to those that are pushing this work, work and risking their freedom in life uh, doing so, you know, because, you know, this is a risk, you know, this puts a target on your back, because, you know, in, throughout history, people didn't like the men of the Lord, all right, they were always telling people to get right and prophesying, you know, destruction, you know, whatever, they, they weren't, they weren't very well liked, all right, um, <clears throat> and nowadays, man, you know, your boss might come across a video and fire you. Um, you know, uh, somebody may roll up on camp that's being carnal and, and just might uh, uh, send you to the spiritual realm right then and there. You know, but you're not worried about that, man. Because, you know, life is, you know, we're, we're looking for a life everlasting, not, you know, things in this carnal life, you know. We put our trust in the Lord, not not in our jobs, you know, not not in you know whatever carnal things there are, man. Uh, Matthew eleven and twenty eight. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am a gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. You know, and, and you know the Yahweh Shai said that he's gonna send his comforter, which he did, and that comforter is his word, man. You know, whatever struggle you're going through, if you lean upon you know the Most High, you start praying and fasting, you start reading His word. You know, the Scripture says, uh, uh, "Blessed are those who read," and, and you know those are blessings because the Most High will open you up to His wisdom and knowledge. And comfort you, man. You know, you, you start talking to a brother and start getting into that holy conversation, a spiritual conversation. And man, it, 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 it does wonders, man. It's like it's therapeutic. All right. Uh, Philippians 4 and 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to the Most High and the peace of the Most High. Uh, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right? And, and that's plain, man. That's basically what I just said. You know, uh, when you start praying and, and, and you know, reading, and, and you're sincere about it, the Most High is going to protect you, man. Let's see. Yeah, this is a. Uh, let's see, this is Second Ezra chapter two. I start at. I'll start at twenty six. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. 
but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord, Yahweh, you know, through his son, Yahweh Shai. My hands shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. So, you know, the servants of the Lord, they're going to be protected, you know, during, during Jacob's trouble, all right? You know, the worst is yet to come, all right? And when the worst does come, you know, that's when, you know, we're going to be, you know, good, man. It says the heathen are going to envy us, but they're not going to be able to do anything uh, against us, man. That's also in uh, in Isaiah. Uh, yeah. Let's see, Isaiah uh, 65, uh, I'll start at 13, it says, Therefore thus saith the Lord, uh, Yahweh, power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. All right, you know. So right, th that's plain, man. And not that's not just saying, you know, carnally. You know, the men of the Lord are gonna eat and, and drink. All right, it, it's also talking about, you know, spiritually. You know, because doesn't yeah, how shall I say? Uh, uh, man shall not eat bread alone. And, and he talks about the living water. You know, we, we we were spiritually hungry and spiritually thirsty, and we received this uh, knowledge that we're Israelites. All right, we receive knowledge of prophecies that are come that are going to come. We receive that comforter. All right, and, and we rejoiced at it, man. And all these other people are going to be put to shame when they they f finally find out that this is the truth, and that they've you know we're so against it. All right. But with that, uh, I'm going to end it there. Um, with that, I hope this video was edifying and uplifting. And uh, shalom.